Hi everyone, this is Valerie from Waterpress. Thank you for joining us for another video in our how-to series. Today I'm going to be showing you three easy ways to change your homepage in WordPress, all of which you can perform from your WordPress admin dashboard. But before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more WordPress tips and tricks and ring the bell to receive notifications and not to miss the new useful content from WordPress. Your homepage is the first page visitors see when they type in your URL into the browser. So you'll want to ensure to make a solid first impression. As WordPress was initially developed as a blogging-focused CMS, by default, WordPress will show you most recent blog posts on the homepage. And if you've decided to create a blog, then it makes sense to just show a feed of your most recent posts. But if you're planning to build an e-commerce or a business website, your homepage should be packed with a slideshow of your products or a list of services, custom testimonials, galleries, or all the words you want, and more such kinds of content. And then it's better to switch to the custom homepage, also known as a static from page in WordPress. Luckily, any page created in WordPress can be set as the front page. Here is the example of WordPress homepage showcasing its products, giving visitors some information about the company, and highlighting the most important content. Now let's finally look at three different tools you can use for editing your homepage on the WordPress website. Most WordPress themes comes with a custom homepage, and the easiest way to edit it is using the theme customizer. To access the theme customizer, navigate to Appearance, Customize. On the left of the screen, you'll see a panel with different elements. Use these customization tools or click on the blue pencil icons. For example, open the home page settings option to set your front page display. And if you click on the site identity, you'll find options to change your title and tagline and upload a site logo. In the customizer, you'll also see options for changing your site's color scheme and the location of your menus. Additionally, you can add widgets to your homepage from the widgets section. There is also an additional CSS section, and here you can add custom CSS code to your theme. Note, depending on your theme, you may have different options for the changes you can make. The customizer will provide you with the live preview while you are edit, so you can see how your tweaks affect your website's look. And once you're done, click on the Publish button above the menu tabs to save the changes. While the built-in customizer is easy to use and it's perfect to make basic modifications, for advanced customizations you might want to make for the edits using the block editor. For sure, with the block editor, you have even more options for tweaking your homepage's design and layout. To customize your homepage using the block editor, simply navigate to the Pages section of your dashboard and select whichever page you set as home. If your theme provides you with the basic homepage design and its design and layout completely suits you, you can try the easy way and replace the demo content with your own. For example, as I did for this page. To compare, this is the demo of the WordPress hotel booking theme. And this is what it looks like now after my quick editing. Otherwise, you can customize the page from scratch by choosing your homepage layout, planning out the page design, and inserting 
new content blocks to add elements to your page. WordPress has a variety of blocks to choose from. You can insert standard options such as paragraphs, images, lists, uh, tables, and buttons, and so on. Additionally, you'll be able to use theme blocks. And to save time, you can also utilize pre-designed block patterns. By the way, we have two great tutorials where we cover Gutenberg life hacks and teach you how to work WordPress content blocks more efficiently. Check out the links in the description below. I'm sure these tutorials will come in handy for you, especially if you're a beginner. After editing and adding all the elements you need on your static front page, you can publish it. Alternatively, you can save it as a draft uh, to continue editing later. You can also customize your front page in WordPress by creating a custom page template. This method will use the WordPress site editor. First, you'll need to make sure you have a block theme activated on your website. And if you can't find the site editor menu, your current theme might not support full site editing. So you should search for a new theme that meets this requirement. Or go for the previous two methods I've shown. To demonstrate this method, I'll be using 2023. Most blog themes will automatically generate some default page templates for your website. To view these, go to Appearance, Editor. In this site editor, click on the WordPress icon and select Templates. Here, you'll see a list of pre-designed page templates that come with your theme. In many cases, you'll have a home page template. You can select this to open a preview in the site editor. And if you don't have a home page template, you can easily create one. First, open the page, and in the page settings on the right, find the template section. Next, select New. In the pop up window, name the template and click on Create. This will automatically open the template editor. You can now build your custom template using patterns, blocks, or even template parts. And for this example, I'm just pasting a random pattern I found on WordPress.org. You know, I want to be quick to show you the result. After you've made your changes, hit the Update button and then Save. Now, let's see the result. And if we get back to the pages and open your front page, we see that the newly created template is applied for it. So, you see, the process of creating custom templates is easy, as well as assigning them to different pages you have. Also, my template is now among the other templates, and you see its author. I think that's it for today. As you see, adding a custom homepage to your WordPress website has numerous benefits, including greater visual appeal and the power to present relevant information to visitors. As has been shown in this video, you can set a static page and then edit it using the blog editor. Additionally, you can make changes to your design using the customizer. And if you use the block theme, the new site editor will help you create an entirely unique homepage. I hope this video was helpful. Let us know which of these three methods you have found to be the most effective for you. And if you have any more questions or additional feedback, drop a comment down below. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. See you in the next one.